Now, most people, when they hear about 5G, they're hearing about it from their mobile phone operator and they think, okay, great, faster internet, I'll have more bandwidth, I can stream more YouTube videos on my phone at a higher resolution or something mundane like that. But what a lot of people don't realize is that 5G is also, also going to enable low latency delivery of information. Low latency means that the bits get there extremely fast and this is incredibly important for something like augmented reality. So augmented reality is an overlay. Uh, it's an overlay on the real world. You might have to wear a pair of glasses or some goggles or maybe you'll do it through your mobile phone. Um, but it allows you to see something that's not actually physically there. It's a, a digital overlay, a digital object that doesn't really exist in the real world, but it's overlaid on that. Uh, think of Pokemon Go as the best, most common example of that experience. To do that correctly, you need a low latency network, and that's where 5G is going to be transformative. So this isn't about faster bandwidth. This is about getting the bits exactly the right spot when you're looking in that direction. You, know, you can imagine if there's just a, a second of lag time where that overlay doesn't line up exactly with the world you're looking at, it'll ruin the, the illusion. The illusion won't be effective at all. Um, so we need that uh, millimeter precision overlay to be exactly registered to the right spot. And so the 5G network is going to make that possible. Uh, and of course, this is going to open up all kinds of interesting possibilities for us. Um, you know, as we go through the cities, as we go about our day, as we go shopping, we'll be able to see things pop up in front of us, new offers, new ideas, uh, characters, and so forth. So there'll be a lot of imaginative use of this technology as it comes. And I think 5G networks are going to be an enabler of that. Mm -hmm.